the Germans came, started to come into the, the country and in Cleveland in the 1840s. And they came in with a, uh, a new concept called lager beer, which involved the aging process. And it, it just had a different taste to it than ale did, and, and it, it caught on in a large way. Really, by that time, by the time the Germans had, had uh, come in and, and uh, sort of taken over the industry in, in Cleveland, which, which happened in the 1850s, beer had sort of become an unofficial national beverage. If you look at uh, the effect of, of uh, World War I, that was one of the major factors that led to prohibition on a national level in, in the United States. There had been a, a strong anti-alcohol sentiment in this country going back to the 1870s. They had been trying to gain political strength to, to put the brewers out of business entirely and, and especially put the saloon trade out of business. But they could never quite get enough political clout to, to get that done until World War I came along. And the anti-German sentiment that went with that uh, sort of helped uh, turn the feelings of the, the public against the brewers who were all either Germans or German uh, descendants. Certainly that, that feeling had faded by the 1930s, and since we were in the Depression, the uh, rebirth of the brewing industry was looked at as a huge potential tax base, and it was something that helped get us out of the Depression eventually. But uh, by 1941, and, and uh, when Pearl Harbor hit and so forth, the uh, anti-German sentiment came back again, and uh, a lot of brewers who had uh, used names such as Old, Old German Beer was a common uh, brand uh, in Cleveland, and they, they got away from names like that, uh, trying to, to sort of divorce themselves from the German heritage.